Hi, welcome back to Paint with Josh. Today I'm going to show you how we prep our white canvas with black gesso so we can paint the scene that we're about to do right now. Now I've taken a little bit of our Liquitex black gesso right on here to my Santorini stone. That's what I like to use and a little, a little acrylic synthetic fan brush. Don't want to use your oil fan brushes, that's for sure. And maybe we'll come up here and it, this stuff is so different than oils. So just little teeny tiny flicks, right? It's even less pressure because if you push real hard, then you're going to have this real hard real deep, dark, real untree looking little shadow, right? We're gonna come off this side, start pushing down, get less and less and less as we come up. And anything that we don't like, guess what we do? We put another tree in there, right? So you come back, you load it back up. Maybe another guy came down from up here. We just load it in, we start tapping up. And whatever you don't like about these guys, you can cover, right? You literally take it, take it and cover over it with your sky color, right? You want these guys to blend in. That's why we don't, we don't really very much care what happens underneath, unless you wanna show a little bit of distance behind there. Then you leave a few little things. Watch, I'm turning the brush like almost sideways and just tapping up to kind of fill them in, pop out a few little branches. Like I said, these are far away little trees. They're not the focal point, right? Just like that. Well, we come over here and we'll just tap in a few little distant trees into there, right? We're going to fill all that up, filling it all up. And this acrylic dries very fast, so you don't have to worry about it. It's going to dry within 10 or 15 minutes. We'll be ready to paint. I'm going to put one more. Actually, let's dump a little bit of that off. We don't need too much paint on the brush. And come in here. Very soft like that. Maybe we'll do this guy as a downward facer. And just start tapping in. We're going to go back and forth and whatever we allow to show, right? More pressure, adjust the angle of our brush. All depends. What do you want yours to look like? That's what I always say. All right? If it doesn't look like mine, then change your brush angle so it does look more like you want it to look like, right? Every so often we pop a couple little things out there, leave little spaces inside. Maybe it grew down here. We'll take all this stuff. We'll just start to blend it out because we're going to have a lot of room, a lot of dark area underneath here anyway. Now, just on this side, maybe we come back, put a little guy down in there, maybe we'll turn our brush over. Maybe he has a friend or two, I don't know. Just like that. All right, again, decide what you want him to look like. Maybe we want another downward facer. Let's come back in, we'll start tapping downward, adjusting our brush, right, tapping out. Start dropping all these cool little things, right? And wherever you leave any light area, when you go over it with your brush, it's going to show through that tree. So if you want your tree to be nice and thick and full, <clears throat> don't leave too much space, right? Come over here. Maybe this guy is a little upward tapper. And we'll start slapping at it, slapping at it. Just maybe just doing the one side, right? Starting to run out of paint on the brush. So let's go back. Just like this. Literally slapping and whatever happens, happens. Make these cool little things, right? The faster you do it, the cooler little things happen. And you pop out, you leave these neat little branches like that, right? And we come over here and we start tapping up, crisscrossing, and just slapping the lightest bit we could possibly get to touch, right? Maybe sometimes they don't even touch. And again, only really worried about what our left side of our tree looks like, not the side where our, our other trees are. Just what this left side looks like. How does that look as it's coming out? You know what I mean? And then we can go back in here, fill in all this extra space. You don't need all that stuff. You don't want it to, don't want it to show. All right, if we leave a little bit of space back behind here, it'll just add that little bit of extra distance. Maybe we had one little guy just in there like that. We're gonna come up, we're gonna tap. Try to make this guy have the cool little details because he's out on the end. There we go. Little things, little taps, right? And then again, we're gonna fill all this space in with our dark color. So, switch to a bigger brush and then we're gonna swipe all that stuff in, just like that. And this stuff does not blend like our oils on a, on a dry canvas, right? So you gotta work quickly and allow it to cover every single bit of all those little white areas. Cover up the sides, cover up the bottom, and then we'll be ready to paint. So work it in, spread it out, and then allow it to dry. And then we'll be back in a few minutes 
Go wash your brushes off. By the time you come back, this thing will probably be dry. You want it to be extremely dry. You do not want it to be wet at all. No wet areas allowed. It's gotta be 100% dry before you do the next step that you're about to see, which is putting on our Bob Ross Liquid White and Liquid Clear, right? You don't wanna put on too much, and you definitely don't want that oil paint to mix with this acrylic paint if it's wet. So make sure this is dry before you start the next step. Initially, we need to cover our canvas in Bob Ross Liquid White and also Bob Ross Liquid Clear, right? We use these a lot, especially when we're doing a split black and white canvas like this. So get your Bob Ross, Bob Ross Liquid White, put it up in the top and our Liquid Clear down in the bottom. Now, the way we do that, we'll shake it up a little bit, just so a little bit gets stuck to the top of the lid, right? Don't need a whole lot. So I'm gonna twist the lid over. I'm gonna grab our two inch brush, brand new two inch brush, Sent to us by Melanie, one of the fans from our Amazon wish list. Thank you so much, Melanie. Well, we did it on our own the other night. We had 96,000 people watch the show. So, you know, I'll just get used to doing it that way. It's all good. No mods needed. Oop, oh, my canvas belt popped out of the whole easel right there. All right. Got to make sure it's nice and slick and wet. There we go. And that way our thick oil paints are gonna blend across all of these little bits, but we're not gonna try to cover up too much of our dark tree paint, right? If we cover up too much of this dark tree, it's gonna add too much color on it. It's gonna make it go too far away. So just very lightly, and you can see just how much paint I'm actually trying to get on the canvas. The smallest, smallest, smallest little bit. If you have too much, it's going to hurt you. It's going to be, it's not gonna help, it's going to hinder. Right, look, even as we go over these trees with just so, such a small amount of pressure, look at that little bit of white that goes across, right? Maybe you have a few little sun rays shine through into your forest. And the more you push and the more you drag into there, the more cool little things happen, right? But we don't want to do that yet. That's a cool little trick we're going to show you a little bit later. I want to get all that bit of white, at least as much as I can, off the canvas because we're not ready for it yet. I was just trying to show you a little trick, right? A little trick. But the more white that we have on there, the more is gonna spread around and turn our black kind of light gray, and that's not what we want. So we're gonna take a two inch brush, brand new one, right? And some liquid clear, shake this guy up. You just need a little bit. And I like to get it a lot of times from the lid of the jar. And if you don't get enough on the jar, just maybe a quarter inch, just dipping the, the tip in just a quarter inch. Look at that stuff drip, it's like syrup. Oh, it's like the stickiest, slickest thing you've ever felt. And it's very, it's a very strange thing, right? We're gonna drop a little bit over here, a little bit over there. And that way we're not kind of blending it all from one area, we're spreading it evenly throughout our entire dark black section, all right? Bing, bang, boom, with a big old two inch brush, you can do it very quickly on this 16 by 20 inch canvas. So I'm gonna come up into our trees, but not try to grab any of that white. But we want every bit of our tree or every bit of our canvas to be covered. Guys, if you're if this is the first time you're watching a Paint With Josh video or the one millionth time, tell me where you're watching from and what's your favorite sandwich. Use your favorite food emoji. What's the last emoji you sent to your girlfriend or your husband or your wife or your boss or your best bro or your best girl pal? What's, the, what's that last emoji you sent? That's always a cool thing. All right, now we need to wash these brushes off. All right, we so... Go ahead. We've got some now. <laughs> Illinois, New York, Ohio, Brooklyn, Alabama, Mississippi, Boston, Baltimore, Georgia, Indiana, Ohio, Wisconsin, Colorado, Massachusetts, Arizona, Texas, Tennessee, um, New York, Jacksonville, Florida, Chicago, Texas, Missouri, Ohio, Massachusetts, Michigan, Richmond, Virginia, uh, New York City, Nevada, Alberta, Canada, Kentucky, hey, Nevada. Wyoming. Florida, Nevada, California, Bologna, is that Bologna, Tennessee? There's a Bologna, t it's spelled B-O-L-O-G-N-A, -L -L but it's totally Bologna. Like Bologna. Uh, Dallas, Texas, yeah, Bologna. Just real quick, we're going to take a paper towel and Indiana, wipe that whole clear area. South Dakota, you got all kinds of places on here. Excellent. Oh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. There we go. All right, we're going to take our, our paper towel, we're going to wipe off all that clear paint. You don't want to have a lot on there. So even though we put it on as thin as we could possibly do it, there's still excess that you can remove. So we're going to wipe that off. We're going to double check the glare. Make sure the cameras look good. Oh, yes. 